Action 7 News live at 10. With only six arrests, Albuquerque police say it has likely stopped hundreds of property crimes. And that is because the suspects are habitual offenders, some being busted as many as 40 times in their lives. KOAT Action 7 News anchor Royal Day is here to show you some faces that APD detectives know quite well. Well, Doug and Shelley, APD scoured the city for these people, wanted habitual offenders. When these types of alleged crooks are locked up, detectives say property crime goes down a lot. Albuquerque police detectives know these faces well, and they should. Over the years, they've busted these alleged crooks over and over again. There are times that we apprehend these individuals, and we find that they've been responsible for dozens upon dozens. Dozens of property crimes. These are just a handful of their mugshots. They're habitual offenders with long rap sheets. Tonight, they're in jail. Between yesterday and today, uh, we've arrested six good habitual offenders. APD detectives swept the city, tracking them down because they had open warrants. The number of arrests may not be massive, but Commander Harold Medina says the impact is. If you look at six people off the street for a couple weeks, you're looking 30, 40 crimes that we may have prevented. And I think that would be very conservative. APD says Ray Lopez has been busted 40 times in a decade. Krisha Johns booked 25 times in seven years. Detectives say these types of criminals do most of the bad. They're responsible for up to 85% of the crime. But when they're in jail, they're powerless. Commander Medina says Albuquerque police just made a big dent in property crime by locking up a few familiar faces. The period of time that they spend in jail, whether it be two weeks, hopefully, or longer, that they're not committing crime, and that's going to lower our crime rates. Well, Commander Medina says the public is a huge crime-fighting tool as well. Now that it's summer, kids may be home alone more. You need to tell them to call 911 first if a stranger knocks on the door. Officers will get there faster. Also, call if you see anything suspicious, even if you think it's minor. And try to get a license plate number, even if it's only partial. All of these things, you may think that they're small, but they can help make an arrest. Back to you. In addition to focusing on habitual offenders and educating the public on how to help prevent crime, APD is also saturating high crime areas. Police